Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 210. That's right, already 10% of the way towards the next century of episodes. Time is flying faster than we could ever imagine. It is pretty nuts, but uh, today's episode is going to be pretty fun. Uh, we are going to do a couple of objectives or show you what I got for completing a couple of objectives. Uh, we are going to claim our squad battles rewards and we are also going to probably do something pretty silly which is uh, another huge SBC uh, where we're, we'll do, we'll do the party bag SBC um, just in a couple of minutes. So don't go rushing through, just relax, enjoy it, let the hype build and we'll get there. Uh, do me a favour though, hit me with a thumbs up button. It's a big episode, let's go for three and a half thousand likes. If you can make that happen, you will make my day. And of course subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click the little noty bell uh, so that you never miss an upload. Um, and for those of you that haven't already skipped through, uh, I want to know, are you going to do any of the foot birthday objectives this week? Or have you already got any? Uh, because I did that part of uh, Cordoba just out of, uh, I just played a game of squad battles. Um, but I, I'm not that interested in Bakayoko simply because I have better options already and I wouldn't fit him into the squad as well. Um, but let me know if, if you're going to get them. Um, so we've got a new celebration. I've pretty much stopped celebrating unless it's like super late game and I just feel toxic or something. I, I've kind of just, I just LBRB now just to get the games over as quick as possible. Um, which some of you will be happy with that I do that nowadays rather than doing a default celebration. Uh, but yeah, with that new dance one, I guess I'll make it active and if I ever want to do it or if I ever feel the need to do it or someone celebrates multiple times against me, then I guess I could, uh, I could always go ahead and use that one, right? So squad battles rewards. Um, I ended up getting gold one this week. Just simply because I was doing things like weekly objectives as well as getting uh, Paqueta last week. So there were there was a few things that I needed to do there and uh, it, I, I got up to gold one, which is alright, you know. Gives you 11,000 coins, gives you a 15k pack, gives you a prime mixed players pack and a premium gold players pack as well. So uh, I will definitely take it. Even if we don't really get anything from this, uh, we've at least already had uh, 11,000 coins, haven't we? So, uh, you know, all is, all is good. So the first pack was absolutely gross uh, as we pack gross. I think it's pr probably pronounced gross and not grob. I think that's an asset, isn't it? Is, am I correct in saying that? It might be. It might be totally wrong. Um, I'm, I'm not very good with my German, um, but somebody in the comment section could probably let me know, uh, and we could educate each other. That would be fantastic. Uh, so pack number two, then. This is going to be a prime mixed players pack. We're not going to get anything from that one uh, either. So no foot birthday. We're going to get a Libertadores player here, an 80 rated Andrada. Uh, it's fine. I reckon that, that I've probably got. A fair bit of stuff in my club now, like Libertadores or Sudamericana stuff, that I might be able to put some of those SBCs together. I need to look into that, because as well, they are very cheap ways of getting 88 rated players, which is obviously beneficial when it comes to doing SBCs. So, uh, I'll take a little look, and I think it just takes a while, because there's no filters or something on the console, uh, but I... I reckon we can get it done uh, and, and, and do it multiple times. Like, I've seen Nep doing it loads and loads of times already, even on his new PC, Road to Glory. So you don't have to have many coins to do it. Uh, so it's probably something we, we should definitely take a little look at. So <coughs> I then went into <coughs> the Foot Birthday Party Bag SBC, and I was like, okay, can I do this? And um, this is what I put together. Cost about 100k, so just over 50 for Koulibaly. Um, he's about 52-ish, yeah, or 50, he's normally 55, but I got him for 52.5, uh, so that was a good price for him, I can't believe I'm saying 50 odd K is a good price for Koulibaly, he, he used to be like 30 odd, I swear, um, and then Zapata cost me like 41k, but that's an 87 rated moments, uh, and then the rest of the players didn't really cost much at all, so we're probably costing... Uh, maybe less than 10k for the final couple of players. So it really has cost me about 100k, maybe just a tad over, uh, and then making use of the players that I've already got in my club. So uh, Usman Dembele, which is fine, I can happily get rid of him now. Uh, the first owner, Rakitic, and also the first owner, Donnarumma, De Vrij, and uh, Alderweireld. Those players help quite a bit, um, just because of their rating and stuff, and the fact that I already had them in the club. So... 
This is the team. I needed a couple of position changes just to get that up there. And that's because I wanted to buy the cheaper 84s. I thought about maybe saving Iosi Perez so that we can get an 86 plus done quicker. Uh, but I've been spending my red players on other SBCs. So uh, the 86 plus is not something that I'm super waiting for anymore. I don't really need to see three 86 rated goalkeepers pop up. That's just disappointment, isn't it? So rather than spending another 5 to 10k on the 84 that would fit that squad, uh, I'm just going to use him and get rid of him. Um, so the only thing left to do now is to, you know, you know the drill. Switch over to live lasty and, uh, and hope that we can get something that isn't a winter refresh. Oh, we're going to get a terrible one, aren't we? I don't think this can go well at all. All right, so I've completed the SBC. It may be... One of the most uh, silly things that we've done on the series so far. It may not be. I don't know. It could pay off really, really well for us. But it's most likely going to be bad. So I don't want to see Foot Birthday Lozano. Already got him. Untradeable. Can't do anything with him. I don't want to see Shapeshifter Atal. Already got him. Can't, can't get rid of him. Duplicate untradeable if that happens. And most importantly, I definitely don't want to see... This guy, because we've already been heartbroken once by getting ourselves a Limbombe. If that happens again, I am discarding him and never thinking about doing another one of these SBCs ever again. All right? So, let's just get that out of the way. I know I can only see this going badly, in all honesty. I think I'm getting a Limbombe again. Um, because I just don't feel like the luck is in right now with these types of packs. Obviously, it was when we got Atal. But since then, we've had, we've had Limbombe, we've had terrible mid-icon packs and, uh, and terrible prime icon pack. Not that Zola was a bad mid-icon, I must admit. Like, he was actually pretty good. Um, but I can't see this going well. I'm hoping that it does, though. <laughs> right? I want to see a foot birthday and I want to see a good one. Leave me your, uh, your predictions down below in the comment section and then you can edit your comments afterwards to let me know if you were right. Let's just go for this, shall we? Three, two, one. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'd, the flares are going to be different depending on what we get, right? Who are we getting? It's a winter refresh. It's going to be Belgium, isn't it? German. What is German? German left wing back. We've already got so many left wing backs or left backs on this game. But we get Nico Schultz. I think he's like a hundred and something thousand coins, you know. Which means that this is not the, the biggest L out there in the world. But are we ever going to use him, man? How are we ever going to link anyone to Schultz? There's no way. There's just no way, is there? Oh, man. It's not. It's, it's literally, it's not the, the worst thing that could have happened. It could have been a duplicate untradeable, or it could have been one that is absolutely terrible. But you guys already know that we are pretty much left back FC around here. I've already got Furlong Mendy, Roberto Carlos... Uh, who else have I got? Tierney and Alexandra. I've got four very usable left backs. So this is not a great pull for me. Three star, two star as well. That's not fantastic. That's not really what you want to see. Um, arguably quite usable though. Uh, but I just don't see us ever getting him into a team. So let me talk you through this a little bit. One of the reasons why I was happy to do this SBC. Because with the coins that we've got here left after spending you know a hundred thousand on the on the SBC itself I can afford well, unless he's gone up I can afford foot birthday Havertz at 345,000 coins and he's someone that I actually quite want to use and I actually kind of want to use as like my striker for next weekend four star skill five star weak foot it, quite interested to see how he performs on the game because he does look very very good um, uh, I think he could be sort of Ben Yedder type of player, maybe obviously, but he's taller, so less agile. Maybe he won't be as good, um, but he's someone that I'm pretty interested in using. So getting that Schultz, I, I don't know how we could possibly do it. I don't, I'm not sure there is a way, um, but there's potential that we could p maybe figure it out to, to get him in somehow. I, I don't know. Let's just play around with this for a minute, shall we? Uh, because... Yeah, I, we've got, there's got to be a way. Some people would be off chemistry, but there's got to be a way to fit these players in. So, if we put our latest and greatest acquired player, Nico Schultz. 
I knew it was going to be a winter refresh, man. There's no way this game was going to give me a foot birthday player. Ah, so if we were to put him in over Alexandro, change to a four-five-one maybe. Um, so you'd have to come there. Neymar would go up front. You would you would come off, wouldn't you? Yeah, so he'd come off. Cyprian would go here. Well, actually, no, he'd have to go here to get chemistry for Saar. But then David Luiz drops chem, unfortunately. But it, we could play him on 8 chem. That wouldn't really matter. Uh, so all of these guys would be fine. And then you could put Havertz here on 7 chem, right? You could do that. Put him as a centre midfielder, move him in. Uh, but then how many players have you got off chemistry at that point? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. So Havertz would be on uh, 7. Neymar would be on 7. Uh, Tierney would be on 7. And, and Luis would be on 8. I don't know if that's too many. Probably is. But, I mean, Luis, you're not going to notice a difference of him on on 8 or or, or, se or, or or 10. You really won't notice a difference. And I already played Tierney on 7. Neymar, I don't think, would play any differently on 7 than he does on 10 anyway. Like, he was fine on 8 the other day. That's that's for sure. Um, but then we're just not trying out this guy on full chemistry. We could put him there. Forget Schultz. Just play Alexandro on 8. And instead of uh, two 7 chem players, I think what we do there is just bring it up to another eight, two 8 chem players, right? Yeah, so Neymar would be back on full. Havertz would be on 8 over instead of 7. Um, you'd be on 8 instead of what we were going to be before. Th that kind of works. That that could potentially be what we do. Uh, I, but I'm not sure. Like, that's... That, risky as well you know a few different players in the squad and stuff like this is obviously the formation you can line up in and play how how i want to play here if you're willing to have an any 8 chem striker so if we just go out on the market now and have a look at who we can afford for so screw that let's just go special cards let's go special cards that are strikers and we can always look at what do we let's get rid of that and we'll just go go no, because we need it needs to be striker or cam, really, doesn't it? Um, so if we go at 300k minimum and then 360 max, uh, max price is there. All right. So this is the sorts of people that we can afford if we wanted to. We could try an 88 rated uh, Harland if we wanted to. There are lots of icons that are in those positions as well. Uh, Matthias, can you someone that we could have potentially got here? Could uh, even try this uh, lasagna, who would actually get. Full chemistry, because he gets a strong link to Zola, being Italian. Actually looks like not a bad player. How tall is he? Six foot one, four star, five star. This could be a better version of like what Havertz is on this game, but like an actual real striker with 97 pace. That doesn't look like a bad option to me. He's someone that I'm quite interested in maybe trying here. Um, so there is that. There's the, yeah. There's lasagna. There's a uh, Lisandro Lopez that we could give a shot. Uh, we don't know what's coming this week either in terms of team of the week moments or what we're going to pack later on in the week either. Um, so there are quite a few options here of different players that are that have potential. We could just default to Ben Yedda, knowing that he is a, a pretty good player on this game uh, and fits the meta super well. Prime Hadji was that uh, or no? Hadji Prime is not 89, is he? Uh, there's a Miroslav Closer Prime. We could try that. Uh, th so there are options, but we have just spent 100k to get someone. I need to check how much Schultz was actually. SCH, I'm guessing, is how it's. Nico Schultz, special. Is he under 100? So I think he's maybe 140 or something. 130? Something like that. Like he's. So a bit of 125. Like he's someone that people arguably want to use. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but it could have been so, so much better. In my opinion, I'm not sure how usable that is because we've got so many other great things there already, you know? So anyway, um, <coughs> what I will just do for the remaining couple of moments of this episode, knowing that the next couple of days are going to be us sorting our squad out and we'll actually make the, we'll make the changes and stuff then. Uh, if I get rid of the concept player, we'll be able to see our custom tactics. 
Someone just wanted to know what my actual custom tactics were. I show this every... It's, it feels like it's been 20 or 30 episodes since I've actually shown it. So uh, let's have a little go for it, shall we? So this is what I play about 95% of my games on. Uh, I pretty much leave it on this the whole time and we're all good. And I'll only ever switch to my drop back one depth to see the very sweatiest of games out for a few minutes. And I'll play on my 10 depth all out attack crazy one if I am losing by a couple of goals and I need to try and get back into it. So I play on balance balanced. I play on 4-4. Four, four. It is so it is very average as you look down the line. It's, there's nothing crazy about it. Um, but I try and be quite aggressive myself, like not letting the AI do everything, and I try and be aggressive myself, which it might be what would happen if I just pre played it on that, but then just let the AI do stuff. I'm not sure. Um, but I feel like maybe I can manage my stamina a little bit better if I do things manually. Uh, formation wise, obviously we the players are going to be all over the show because I just changed the formation. Uh, but instructions wise, okay, so my fullbacks, I literally tell to stay back while attacking. I don't need them to get up. The game will just do that anyway. Sometimes they'll find themselves in attack positions. But I want them to get back afterwards. I don't want them messing around. Uh, my two DMs. This, is, this one, the one on the right, I tell to stay back while attacking, cut the passing lanes, and cover the center of the pitch. And then for the other one, I do cut passing lanes, cover center, but I let him go on balanced attack as opposed to stay back while attacking. That's where I always play the Firmino or the Atal type player. Let them get up and almost be that center mid to cam type role, um, but then also help when, you know, when I need it, I need you to be a defensive midfielder and be able to tackle the ball. Uh, what do I say on my cams then? So basic defensive support, drift wide and get into the box. That's what I tell my right cam. Uh, left cam, I'm pretty sure is exactly the same thing. I'm not sure if that's correct. Uh, my cams go quite quiet, but it's kind of been working for me, so I have no real reason to change. Uh, and then the only difference between my two strikers is that the one on the right I tell to just do mixed attack. And then the one on the left is typically someone who's a bit quicker. I tell them to get in behind. So that was when I was using Mbappe and Neymar. Mbappe's the quick guy. He gets in behind. Neymar can vary his runs. He still gets in behind, but he can vary his runs a little bit more. And stuff like that. So... That right there is pretty much how things line up for me in game. Like I said, we'll spend the next couple of days figuring out, depending on what we get in our rewards and, and all of that stuff and what other SBCs come out that I decide to waste my money on, we'll see where we're left in terms of coins. But for right now, we are relatively poor again with about 350 to 400k sitting in the bank. Uh, I'll try and up that a little bit so that we can uh, maybe bring some more talent into the RTG over the next few days. But that is going to wrap things up. We did the guaranteed SBC guys, we did the party bag and we got unlucky by getting ourselves an 86 rated Nico Schultz. Oh well, at least it wasn't a duplicate untradeable. Guys, hit me with a thumbs up today. Let's go for three and a half thousand likes. I think you can do that. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I thank you for that. Uh, why don't you go ahead and come and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below. Most importantly, have a wonderful day everyone. I'll catch you tomorrow with a new episode. Peace.